up guys, welcome to another video, today we're reviewing Gretel and Hansel. This one came out in 2020 and stars Sophia Lillis and Alice Cridge. Now before we start, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the post notification bell so you know if you favorite video, let's just start. Let's start talking about the good. So, Sophia Lillis, um, she plays Gretel, um, and she is just very, very, very good in this film. Um, Alice Cridge is the witch. I thought she did a phenomenal job as a witch because she is creepy um, and every sequence with her in it um, she finds a way to make it unsettling and um, very mysterious at times um, the cinematography I thought was phenomenal the shots camera angles um, a lot of them well most of the entire film is square and if you watch the film, you'll see what I mean. It's just, it always focuses on one specific thing in this film. Um, it doesn't, there's not that much in the background going on. So if characters are talking, it focuses on that character talking. And then when another character talks, it quickly switches to that character. Um, so I thought the cinematography was unique. Um, never seen any film like this um, in terms of cinematography. Um, so I thought it was pretty good. Um, there are some disgusting sequences within this film, especially that dinner sequence. That dinner sequence is very, very disgusting. Um, the food is, of course, disgusting. Um, and there's one sequence in this film that is... Unfortunately, well, was unfortunately spoiled in the trailer. It was where the witch was pulling the hair out of her mouth. That sequence in this film is tense. Um, it's very unsettling, very creepy, and very, very, very disgusting. Um, she's just pulling hair out of her mouth, and it seems like she's doing it for no reason. And then when you see a bow attached to the end of the hair, it's sort of... Um, Sort of makes it even more creepy because it's clear that she just ate a child. Um, so that part was, I think, very, very creepy and um, very weird. Um, now, let's move on to the weird sequences in this film. There are a lot of weird sequences that are very creepy in this film. Um, especially when you get into the um, second and third acts of the film where the children actually meet the witch. Um, they're in her house. Um, I already talked about the dinner scene. That sequence was disgusting. Um, but there's also another sequence in this film. Well, multiple sequences in the third act of the film. That are sort of creepy because... Well, I mean, mainly because of the witch. Most of the sequences with her in it just feel like weird and creepy at the same time. Because you know, I mean, obviously everyone knows the witch is bad. But... You never know what she's going to do, and I think that um, that aspect of the film is very, very well done. Um, unfortunately, that's all the good that I have. Now let's move on to the bad. So, the sound choice for this film, I thought it was terrible. Um, it does not fit the tone of the film at all. Um, it was just, it was just weird what they, what he, well, what he did with this um, sound choice for the film. Um, I didn't think it worked all that well. Um, didn't bring anything um, didn't bring anything new to the film. Um, it was just very bland and mediocre. Um, Sammy Leakey as Hansel. Um, I didn't really think he was that good in this film, unfortunately. Um, Sophia Lillis and Alice Cridge are the main standouts in this film, and they are um, two of the lead characters along with Sammy Leakey. But I didn't think Sammy Leakey was that good in this film. Um, I believe this was one of his first roles, um, and I guess for his first role, he was pretty good, but for me, I did not find him that, um, that good in the film. So he was, for his first time acting, um, he was better than I expected, but for the standards that I have for, um, all actors and actresses, I didn't really think it was all that good compared to the other characters in this film. Um, the sequences in this film, a lot of them do not make sense. Um, and I don't know why the director chose to include them. 
Um, that includes a lot of the sequences in the second act of the film. Um, it's sort of like this weird twisted, and by twisted I mean like figuratively and literally. Um, there are some sequences where it focuses on one character walking in the woods and then sort of moves to the sides. And I don't know what the director was trying to accomplish with those sequences. Um, it didn't really make it that creepy for me. Um, just made it just, I don't know, it just didn't really fit the film. Um, but the other sequences um, were fine. It was just this one, well, these few sequences where the camera's shaking. Um, now, the third act of the film, the ending sequence. It is good, but it's also not what I had hoped for it to be. The ending sequence is where um, she turns into a witch, and I... For the film, I think, I guess it was okay, but... I would have preferred if um, if something else would have happened other than that sequence. Um, so I guess the ending sequence was okay. Um, that's about it. Gretel and Hansel is a watchable um, horror film. Of course, it was released in January, so that must tell you something. Um, it was better than most January horror films. But again, for me, it was very disappointing as I was going into this film expecting a little more so i'm going to give gretel and hansel a c thanks for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the post notification bell so you know if i create a video i'm peter thank you for watching